Hey, I'm Carrie. Welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time all around. Welcome. I'm Carrie Blogger, a career freelancer on Fiverr.com where I've been selling as a Fiverr Pro Verified copywriter for about the past seven years. And in today's Freelance Friday video, I'm going to be giving out gold stars on Fiverr for the things that I think help your gig stand out. A couple weeks ago, I made a red flags video and I received a comment on that video. How do you not only avoid traps, but how do you, you know, stand out and make really smart decisions? Yeah, I'm excited. So a couple disclaimers just to start. I'm just shopping around for a fake project. I'm not actually purchasing these services. Although Fiverr, hit me up if you wanna sponsor a video, I will do that, <laughs> that'd be cool. And of course, because I'm not actually purchasing the services, I'm not reaching out to message, all of these kind of gold stars that I'm doting out are just based on kind of the appearance of what they're putting out first and foremost uh, for going from search to a conversion point. And of course, this is all based on what the algorithm in search wants to show me today. So I'm sure it will change tomorrow. And this is just indicative of like right here today. Okay, uh, I'm gonna be looking for a couple things. I'm gonna look for a logo and branding for my new imaginary company, uh, website design, website content, uh, Shopify descriptions. We're gonna consider this as some e-commerce thing, uh, animation with voiceover services, and then an ad campaign. I think that, that will kind of summarize, you know, a fairly solid launch. Let's look for a logo and I'm gonna look for a minimalistic logo, modern. Now I'll do flat. I think I'm gonna look for someone with a video. I think initially the ones that pop out the most to me use color. So for example, I'm more drawn to this sample symbol than I am of this one just cause it's harder to see. Although I do like the variety of seeing a couple more, I think this four by four is probably the most visibility. This one is also really unique because it just stands out so much from the other ones on the page. Mm. This is kind of unique. This is the first person to show it with mock-ups. Other people have shown like this, but it's not as engaging and I can't really see the logo, but here you can actually see what's up. Although they only have 4.5 stars, so that's a little questionable. I'm gonna check that really quick. Okay, I don't know if that negative review is really indicative of everything that they can do or if they just kind of got screwed. But there's not really enough samples to see their style. Oh, portfolio, boom. Love seeing a portfolio, especially for design. I mean, yeah, I think it's really important for writing too, but especially for design. All right, unfortunately, I'm not loving their samples here as much, so I think I'm gonna close out of that, but I do really think that it stands out for sure. It was very eye-catching. Let's look at this one again. Oh, you're cheating. Oh, <laughs> you know, I said I wanted to see a video and it's not even a real video. It's just an animation. You suckered me. What is the difference between a typographic logo and a conceptual logo and a logo design? You know, assuming I'm a client who really doesn't know anything about graphic design. Those aren't very clear. This is smart. So I guess this wasn't actually what I thought it was. Um, or maybe I got distracted, I don't know. But I was looking for something that included a brand or a logo with like a brand identity summary. And so I accidentally clicked on the wrong one, but they did a smart thing of, they said, is this what you need instead? And then they linked over to a bit.ly. All right, that's smart. Good strat, good strat. And they're pro verified. Level two, nine years of design experience, leads a senior team of graphic designers. Okay, so it's a team. They are transparent about that, but they're saying like who the creative director is. So I feel like I still have a person that I can really connect with. And then they have a portfolio listed, which matches some of the things that I've seen. I'm officially sold. You are killing the game. Very clear FAQ. What is stationary design? That's a question I might have. Is your work original? Please say yes. <laughs> Everything we do is built from scratch. Team of industry practitioners, beautiful. I'm obsessed. We found our winner. And you know what got me here? An eye catching something out of the ordinary, lots of color, very like thorough representation of themselves. They've got great reviews, consistent, well fleshed out, description and then they led me to where I actually wanted to go. Next up, let's find a website designer to match 
with this stunning, stunning logo. Okay, so I think for my website build out, I'm gonna look for someone with some serious credibility because I want this to be perfect because I, you know, I don't want to spend a lot of time doing this website. So let's see what stands out here. Ooh, <laughs> stop messing around with dodgy freelancers and work with seasoned vets. That is some strong language. I like it. I mean, I, it's a little much roomy, but <laughs> like the confidence, especially if you're charging $6,000 for one landing page. That's what they made. That's like not impressive at all. Hmm. What else stands out? I like that there's a person I feel like I connect with. I feel like it would be hard. Oh, it doesn't scroll, so I can't actually see it. It's a little disappointing with these website samples that like this first impression tells me something, um, but I feel like it would be nice to be able to see like the PDF scrollable view. Back to the drawing board. We're still looking. Oh, I'm not supposed to be giving negative. I'm supposed to be giving gold stars. All right, I like the use of the word bold. So everyone says modern. Obviously I search for a modern web design in this search. Modern, modern, professional and modern. But modern bold. I want something a little different, you know? Obviously with your gig just titles, there's not that much you can do that really like sets you apart. It's pretty limited, but something thoughtful. I wanna see like what I'm getting. Mm, I want to be able to see more. You know what? Maybe I should be searching differently. So let's say I want, I'm going to have my Shopify store here. Mm -hmm -hmm. What stands out? Lots of Shopify things. I don't know why, but I'm looking at this. This has got me. Oh, she has a cute little avatar. These are cool. Like a good use of the PDF feature, um, which I've never even thought of doing to include kind of a workflow, what to expect, and then also to highlight reviews up at the top. Smart. This is what I wanted to see. I can't see super well, but like a scrollable example of what it would look like. Oh, the least popular Kickstarter, People's Choice, Ultimate Best. That's so funny. I would not personally take that approach to like say that your least popular package of anything. I mean, I want people to think that all three of my offerings I offer because I want to serve them and I wouldn't make a package that wouldn't serve people. So that's an interesting choice, but it did catch my eye. What if I don't like your work? Well, this is a difficult one. I'm ready to die for client satisfaction. All right, she's got the personality. All right, I'm sold. We've got this. And then we have a little backup logo. Mm, let's look for a local seller. Sorry guys, I'm gonna look for a local US seller. Fast Waldo, you and I have been chums for a long time. Who's this little cutie? Who is that? Carrie Blocker. All right, stop fooling around, Carrie. Okay, I'm giving myself gold stars here, no shame. The color, everyone else is like this dark, heavy thing. And this is so like light and bright on the page. I am gigantic, but I'm like, leading towards, I don't know, I love it. I've got lots of pictures, I've got, oh look, you can even see right there, boom, portfolio on display. And then of course I've got a video, which most people don't. She has like a very clear style. She's like so well branded as herself. Um, I feel like when I like would work with her, I like know who she is. Ooh, Palm Beach Comer, you are on here. You are one of my little, little uh, peeps, subscribers, I don't know. But way to go, you. You're there, you're doing it. Oh, and yep, sorry, we got mistakes in there. Can't do that. Ugh, I'm too picky. Flawless website content, that caught my eye. <laughs> Who do I want to work with? This is kind of an interesting like overlay, but I still see the person, like similar, but not um, the same. We have one little typo, no! No, two little typos. All right, Palm Beach Comer, let's give you one more try. All right, I love it. I just think that it's not quite like a conversational enough kind of tone of voice for what I'm personally looking for, but I think it's a good start. I want my little made up store to have a really 
just like down to earth, conversational, easy to, ooh, I love this. I don't know why, I'm so eye-catching. It's so hard to like proofread your own work for your own self. Mm. It's just too hard. This is cute. We got some personality. It is eye-catching, it's engaging. Okay, I'm hiring myself. That's it. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, okay. Description. I might just have to hire myself for this one too, we'll see. Again, showing up, showing up. I want short and sweet descriptions. So, Emma, I like what you're doing, but I don't want 300 words each. Red hot description makes your product fly off the shelves. I love her little tagline. Are your words really working for you? Let's pretend I'm a beauty brand, I like that. So this is an example of kind of being like the perfect fit um, that I talked about a couple weeks ago in a like how many gigs should you have uh, freelance Friday. One day delivery. She's just trying to get some business or what? Yeah, I guess she doesn't have any reviews yet, but she is pro verified. So even with no reviews, that is helpful. So maybe she just like has a super open schedule and she can just fit me right in. Okay, let's do that. I like that. So I would love to see a little more about you video, but I'm loving what you got written. So, I mean, even with samples, I feel like I have a really clear sense of her tone of voice, um, strong command of language. I haven't seen any mistakes in what I just skimmed. Really, really strong style. This like stands out as unique. And again, that like niche perfect fit in case I'm looking for my new imaginary store, which is taking shape the longer I go through this, is now going to be a beauty Shopify store. So I like that she is the perfect fit for that. And then she has another one for fashion, which again makes sense because she has like a fashion and beauty side to her personal experience. It's not just like a random niche she's picking for no reason. It just gives like a really clear backstory to her experience really well. Next. I like that it's in the studio. That's kind of a unique take. Getting to see the setup and space adds a little more professionalism. But because I'm gonna be for your beauty brand, do I want a female? voice. So obviously, especially in the voiceover category, it makes more sense that they have videos because I need to be able to hear them. Pancakes, corned beef fried rice, the loco moco. I want someone with like a, because I'm going for that like casual, conversational, like, I want something that just sounds like, you know, like this, like, like how her vibe looks. Like that's what I want for this brand. I don't think you should use lines or cross hatches here because those strokes would be visible and we don't need them here. All right, I love your voice, but we've got that like background buzz I don't want. Because it saves things like money. Technology saves a lot. Mm, this is the vibe I want in a voice. I want the vibe. If you're looking for a calm and smooth voice or an energetic and cheerful voice, Okay, she's so showing a wide range in like a small, short time frame. I like the like, just get into it and show me what I need to hear. Um, I don't think it's what I'm looking for for my imaginary project, but I like the way that that was structured a lot. Rebecca, geez, with the energy. Oh, that's the same Rebecca. That's so funny. No one else must care about that little buzz that I heard and maybe it was just in that. So I'm gonna give her a shot. I love the energy, it's just got me. Let's get some gold stars over here. Animation, modern, but like down to earth and like cool. A stop motion one would be cool. And I like the way that this like pops. Everyone else is using like these big text heavy things. Allie Madison, you've been on here forever too. It's really all the girls that I recognize, the women like myself. All right, let's look at the sample. I'm excited about this. I love this. This literally just makes me like so happy. I love it, I love it, I love it. This is the best thing I have ever seen. They've got tons of samples. I love this. I love this. I'm so obsessed. And it, it, it just caught my eye. It's well explained. You can see that she like wants to create things on a custom level that we need to make sure that we can map out what I need and what she can deliver. What's your process? Let's ask that. Make a storyboard. 
Love that. So we've got like steps, scanning for props, hundreds of pictures. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. This made me excited. Actually, let's look for Instagram. Facebook's dead. <laughs> I like, this doesn't tell me anything about it. It's a terrible example. It's not a, it's not a gold star, but for some reason I saw it and I like that it tells me exactly what I'm gonna do. This is highly performing, which I do want it to be. Honestly, the longer I look at this stuff, it's almost like overwhelming, just like how many options you have. I want something that like catches my eye, tells me right away it's what I actually need, and then delivers like the service I need. That sounds so dumb, but like the way that it's explained. So some of these people, have, they've caught my attention, then I think that that's what I want, but when I look at it, it's like not clear enough if that's really like what's covered. You know what, I keep seeing you. Two social media accounts. Why would I need two accounts? Ooh, I will guide you on maximizing your Instagram marketing strategy. I need guidance, let's hear it. And they got samples of like whole feeds. What, why, how, that's funny. I've never seen that. Why, because I love it. Oh, I love that. But I think that this would be a fantastic start and I'm so like immersed in what they have to offer. So you know what, I would give her a try. 10 years of experience well, <laughs> are obsessed and I'm honestly obsessed. There you have it. I hope this is interesting and helpful, kind of double perspective, both from someone who sells on Fiverr and how I've decided to set myself up to try to catch attention, make sure I'm answering questions. Also as a fake buyer looking for things and kind of what goes through my head with this imaginary project of why I would consider some people over others and like what kind of resonates with me. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions for a future Freelance Friday video, please be sure to comment that down below. There are lots of gold stars to sprinkle all across this entire platform. So much talent out there. And I hope that you as my um, subscribers are finding success and growing your business, or at least exploring kind of the options that you have out there because we have a lot of options. Again, I'm Carrie Blogger. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you next week for another Freelance Friday video. Chat soon, let's get back to work.